good we seem to be on and so welcome to to tech weeklies and today we have a special show about ssl certificates and python so i will hand over to helsinki thank you thank you i'm gonna start by sharing my little presentation all right so can you see all my screen yes okay perfect so let's start so my name is Jairo Presti. I'm a software developer in the Futurist Helsinki office, which I joined um, last week, so pretty recently. And today I'm going to talk about how and why I used Vanilla Python to monitor my SSL certificates, which was a really fun little project. So uh, let's start with some context on why I did it like this. So I'm administrator of multiple chat rooms on uh, the chat networks named Net matrix which is um most well more of a protocol than chat network but um on for some of those chat rooms we have like your little website that explains the rule the all the rules that are in the channels all the list of the channels the admins and some practicalities like this only at some point uh, this website which is managed by an, another admin got a little ssl um certificate problem um little problem is the cron tab of that admin never really renewed the certificate which is a little problematic so i suggested switching to caddy which is a little server slash reverse proxy which works very well and renews automatically as a self certificate but as you can see from the screenshot that person isn't keen about switching to caddy so i had a small idea so that my small idea was to create or get something to monitor as a set certificate to avoid that kind of situation later so let's go over some stuff i tried in the existing solutions so first i'm part of this little collective called dedomoon.net which hosts uh, free and open source services on there we use mainly grafana to monitor our ssl certificates because we have this big wildcard certificate that gives uh, that is used in most services on the little problem is that our config is so weird that we have to manually renew that one um, we have a small problem though with grafana is that it worked only once and then stopped working so for me that was out of the way then there is zero as i said which i use for some domains which has a really neat feature uh, that has expiration reminders. Like you have a nice little dashboard that lists all your certificates on everything. It will send you an email after when it will expire. Like it will expire in one week or, uh, yeah, I think it's one week and then one day. But there is a small problem. Most of my certificates use Let's Encrypt, which throws that out of the window. Then there is um, commercial solutions, like for instance, Track SSL um which solve exactly the kind of case the kind of problem i had uh, but only problem they cost a lot like this is seven for the numbers of domain we have in total it's 72 euro per month and it's paying yearly so it would cost me even that that would cost me a lot so out of the way as well so what do we do now are we doomed to have our ssl expire on that little website on other stuff around well first let's establish what we want first we want something that is fast to make then something that can be deployed everywhere really really easily then we want it to also run on a potato uh something that doesn't cost me a sense at the end and of course something that works uh so my little solution was to create something of my own which i named set certain um, set manager so for this little project, I went with Python because it's one I already know and it's really easy to use. Uh, I chose to go completely vanilla, so without additional modules, um, apart from the vanilla Python one, because one, I'm very lazy, and two, for little fun learning experience, because instead of using libraries, I can learn how to use, like how to do it myself. Then, as for the license, I used a very uh, common license, which is the MIT license, which I use on most of my projects, because 
it's also like Python, really easy to read and understand. And with that in mind, we can start the project. So this was the original idea, like having at some point some kind of email that says, hey, your certificate will expire in one week. Same for the chat networking uh, mentioned at the start, I have a little bot and a message that say, hey, those certificates will expire soon as well. Um, let's go over how I did it. So first we have like the main.py, which is very easy. We just import the main cron task on start it. Uh, then we have a uh, domain task that will um, first check if we enabled any what I call providers, which is like, for instance, sending emails or sending messages to Matrix. We also want to get the second, like the time for the cron task. For instance, I set it to 12 hours by default, which is good for me because otherwise I would find that a bit too spammy. And we also import uh, the domain list, which has changed recently. Before, I had two lists, one email list, one of email domains, and one of main domains, until I realized I could just specify the port and it would just work well. Then the cron task is just really simple, going through all the domains, checking the one that will expire soon, and putting them into a list that will then will be sent to the, to the um, providers and will send the, the appropriate message to every platform. And of course, if there is no domains that are expiring, well, we just skip. So this is the heart of the project, just checking some SSL. So for instance, uh, this uses um, the default socket from Python. So basically just opening a connection, getting the certificate, and just testing. Um, when the when the expiration date is, and if the expiration date is more or equal, less or equal to seven, like the number of days until expiration, we send a little message. Uh, as we can see, for instance, the issued was, I tried to do something with it, like saying, hey, your certificate has been issued on that day and will expire on this day, but I never really use them, so. There's still a nascent of that in the code. Also, you can see there is an accept pass, which isn't exactly good code quality, but for a small project like this, I'm gonna I'm gonna say the horrible word that the, hor the horrible sentence that is it's good enough. Then we have uh, the small HTTP util to send, of course, post requests because this is what the chat um, protocol I'm using uses. So, as well, it's really easy. We have our, we use urllib, which is fairly easy to use, and then just send everything um, encoded in JSON. Then we have the email provider, which uses the SMTP lib, which is also by default in Python. We get all the small users, and for each provider, we have uh, each time a small method that checks if you can send. So instead of trying to send like I've done in the past because I was lazy, it will just straight up refuse to send anything or just skip. As you can see, uh, it's fairly simple as well. It's just like listing all the domains and sending the email. I just realized that the email from is hard coded and I should change that. Then it just sends the email. And for now, it only supports as uh, like sick SS email server that have SSL, but I. I hope nobody is using plain text these days. And then we have the matrix provider, which is the one most uh, people that have run this um, use. So it, it's fairly simple as well. You get the host, the host token, and then the number of rooms where you want to send that little message. For instance, I have it set by default on my own room that will log everything. Of course, there is the little check to see if we can send me actually send messages, and then we just build the um, the URLs to send to rooms, build the little message with of course the list of domains that will expire, and then send everything, which is again really really easy. Usually that's enough for it to work somewhat correctly, and I still have that small roadmap 
uh, that is first to add support for NTFY, which is like open source push notifications, which would be really useful to have some, some stuff of the sort on the phone, for instance. Also checking for revocate like for revocation because for now it just checks the um, SSL certificate without trying to check if it has been revocated or anything like that. Uh, also maybe checking for self sign stuff, but um, in the current state we use some uh, self sign stuff so that might uh, return some errors like it might have some frictions on that side. But that could be a good idea as well. And then whatever my friend needs or whatever I need on the spot. Uh, so deploying it is very simple. Just one Docker file, one, um, one, one NV file, and boom. You have everything that you need to run it. Additionally, technically, you could monitor anything with it as long as it's, it has its server certificate. So I made that very recently. Because before ports were kind of hard coded because as well laziness. Um, so that was a really small talk today. Thanks for everybody for coming and listening to me. If you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to ask them. You can also find the project, so the source code and everything at sad.g4.lc, which will redirect automatically to where it's hosted. Thanks again.